Hey you guys, it's Tracy. What a morning. So I went up there and gave the babies new space and everything else and um yeah. Um and then the the camera was saying motion and I thought it was the wind. Motion and I thought it was the wind. Motion. So I went up there after the third one so I can go cut the thing off to cut in the motion and one of the babies were dead. And um, I instantly freaked out and I thought the new teenagers pecked it to death. Um, I was mad. I thought the teenagers pecked it to death. And um, I was putting the babies, what was left of them, they were cowered in the corner, hidden in some mesh. And um, I picked them up and put them in their pen and locked the door. And then the teenagers were running. And I heard <laughs> behind me. And there was the hawk. That is not what killed my first set of chickens. My first set of chickens was 100% human done. Um, they walked into my coop. They pulled them out of their pen. They broke their necks. They politely buried them. And then on one of them, they broke her neck and then gutted her with a knife, took all the feathers, and then buried this, uh, a fourth pile of her feathers. It was ritual, real, ritualistic. It was very, very clean. There was no sign of any animal, any anything with the first set of chickens. It was ritualistic. Um, I had more than one, more than two, more than three people come over. The first set of chickens were killed by humans. Uh, somebody wanted to hurt me, and they did in the way they gutted her and took her heart. It is what it is. It is a fact. The police absolutely verified it was human that killed um, my first set of chickens. Uh, but um, because of the coop... Um, and I never put my first set of chickens out when they were little. I never put them out when they were little. I waited until they were teenagers. Uh, but because I had this small coop, I put them out, thinking that they'd be safe in there um, and thinking that the aviary was safe. And um, the hawk today showed me by going through the pole and the fence. That's how it got in. Uh, still no damage to the coop, but that's how it got in. It got in through the pole and the fence. Uh, everyone says I should have killed the hawk. Um, matter of fact, I can see it right there. I can actually see it. Um, but I re-secured everything, made sure there was no gaps, made sure there was no... Um, there's a guy up the street who raises hawks. Uh, I'm not sure if this is his or if this is a wild one. I don't know. This was a baby. She was screaming mad. I wetted her down. And um, she cowered. And then I was able to grab her by the back of the neck and throw her out of the cage. Uh, but this one was very evident it was an animal. It was very evident. Um, the three that were murdered, 100% was human. No ifs, ands, or buts. There's no questions. There's no nothing. Um, so, yeah, that happened. And then I had the guy, I had a person possibly text me and say, you want help with your chicken coop? And I'm like, um... No, and I want you to stay away from me because he has some really weird issues over an old tenant or whichever. And I gave the police his I gave the police his information because he could have done it. Um, but the second I had posted that um, there was a hawk in my aviary, he was like first out of all the people. He was like the first one to reply. You know, I'll come over and help you. And I was just like, dude, I don't trust you. And I gave your number to the police if you're the one that killed my chickens. And his name is Mario. So I blocked all Mario's from my Facebook except the massage therapist um, and my Instagram and Facebook and everything because the guy who killed the first set of chickens or the person was professional. They knew what they were doing. It was very satanic. It was very clean. It was very quick. Um, they knew what they were doing. Um, they knew exactly what they were doing. So this was, it wasn't an accident. Today was an accident today is what I originally planned for like hawks or something to come in and I made that damn aviary to protect them so they couldn't come in from above my bad was is there's a two inch gap between the pole and the fence and you guys can look at the video and that I didn't I I did not know that hawks would squeeze through cracks I didn't know that hawks would squeeze through cracks I thought they'd come in from the top and have the fencing and that would be it um, I had no idea that they were that aggressive as hunters. Learned my lesson. Um, 
And yes, I went around all of the aviary to see if there's any other holes, loose ends, any anything to where that stupid thing could not come back in. And I did a video, yep, came right to the front, right to where it was supposed to be, right to the front, and that's how it got in. Uh, breaks my heart. It breaks my heart that it got through. But that's not what killed my first set of chicken. So uh, then my ice maker went out and now my air conditioner's not working. You know, crap piles up, anxiety piles up. <clears throat> and to know that someone's still lurking and stalking because there was no if, ands, or buts. The first set of chickens were murdered by a human, somebody who wanted to hurt me. They did. This one was my fault. This was a hawk. And uh, I underestimated, I underestimated um, hawks. So, yeah. <sighs> like when you have a garden, you have caterpillars and bugs. And I, I can't do weed killers because the chickens eat it. And my cat eats it, so I can't do weed killers. I can't do Roundup in the yard because I go poison my cat and poison the chickens. Like, this crap is hard, you guys. So I'm trying to do everything all natural. Like, that's why I'm selling my figs. Every day is a new day to try and to learn. But yeah, the videos are there. You can see it. She's a baby hawk. <sighs> Tomorrow is another day tomorrow's another day but this is enough is enough you know enough is enough before I lose it that's all I have to say hugs from her vision bye